Hi, Dr. Barrett's here. I'm a chiropractor, nutritionist, and herbalist. My purpose is to help people live better naturally, and I provide natural solutions to common health problems. In this video, I'm going to teach you about inflammation, why you have it, and what you can do about it. I'm going to reveal a home remedy that has helped hundreds of thousands of people reduce inflammation for over 70 years. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a bonus procedure that has helped millions of people with inflammation for over 300 years. Inflammation can be a big problem, leading to joint pain, acid reflux, itching, headaches, allergies, anxiety, and depression. Research has also linked inflammation to Alzheimer's disease. And inflammation is a key factor in many autoimmune diseases. Now, as odd as it seems, inflammation is also vitally necessary for human health. In fact, healing always occurs in three sequential phases. Inflammation, cell growth, and cell reorganization. More about this in a couple of minutes. The first thing you need to know about inflammation is that inflammation is necessary for human health. And that artificially decreasing inflammation can and does lead to all sorts of health problems. Let me explain. Injuries, whether major or minor, are a normal part of daily living. Examples of minor injuries would be scrapes, cuts, bumps, bruises, and mosquito bites. Even exercise can cause inflammation when tissue is broken down during the exercise session, with healing and strengthening during the recovery period. There is a natural law about this. Tissues respond to stresses placed upon them in order to resist those stressors in the future. In exercise, the stress causes tissue breakdown which then leads to inflammation and the other steps of healing leading to stronger tissues. This is why strength training causes muscle growth. Now, if there's not enough stress, then there is no inflammation and growth is not stimulated. Without stress, muscles tend to get weaker over time. If there's too much stress, then tissues can't keep up with the inflammation and injuries occur. This could be further stated as tissues respond to optimal stresses placed upon them to resist those stresses in the future. The characteristics of inflammation are redness, heat, pain, swelling, and loss of function. Each represents key parts of the healing process. Redness reflects the increased blood flow to the area, which brings in specialized cells and enzymes that will capture and eliminate the injured cells and prevent infection by killing bacteria and deactivating viruses. I call these cells and enzymes the cleanup crew. Heat represents the increased biological activity in the area by the cleanup crew. Additionally, heat can kill certain bacteria. Pain is your body's signal to rest the area while the cleanup crew is working. Swelling represents the fluid that the body needs for the cleanup crew. Loss of function is your body's protective mechanism so that you will not further stress the weakened area during the cleanup process. The process of inflammation is hardwired into the human body and is expressed no matter the source of injury. Too little inflammation can result in progressive tissue destruction by the cumulative effects of injuries, bacteria, viruses, toxins, or other physical stressors. However, prolonged inflammation can result in problems such as allergies, autoimmune diseases, Alzheimer's, and cardiovascular disease, to name a few. Now that we understand a little more about the purpose of inflammation, let's put inflammation into perspective by looking at the three phases of healing. Then I can offer some natural solutions to speed the healing process and thus reduce the time and severity of inflammation. Phase 1 the inflammatory phase. The inflammatory phase focuses on destroying bacteria and removing debris, preparing the injured area for growth of new tissue. The inflammatory phase normally lasts about four to six days. The inflammatory phase can be better understood if we call it the cleanup phase. Phase two, cell proliferation. In the cell proliferation phase, the injured area is filled in and covered with new cells. This phase usually lasts from 4 to 24 days. Phase 3, cell reorganization. During the cell reorganization phase, 
the new tissue slowly gains strength and flexibility. And some of the scar tissue is replaced with functional tissues like muscles, skin, or nerves. The cell reorganization phase varies greatly from wound to wound, often lasting anywhere from three weeks to two years. Cell proliferation and cell reorganization phases can be better understood if we call them the cell rebuilding phases. The healing process is remarkable and complex. It is also subject to interruption due to various factors like hydration, infection, age, nutritional status, and genetics. When the right healing environment is established, the body works in wondrous ways to heal and replace damaged tissues. Because the phases of healing, inflammation, cell proliferation, and cell reorganization are sequential, I hope you can see that each phase depends upon the one before, and stopping the healing process at the inflammatory phase is a recipe for chronic injury. Anti-inflammatory medication can interrupt the healing process by stopping inflammation. That is why you see warning labels on anti-inflammatory medications like Celebrex, Ibuprofen, Naproxen, and Meloxicam increase the risk of heart attack or stroke that can lead to death. This may happen early in treatment and may increase with increasing doses of NSAIDs and with longer use of NSAIDs. Or here's another warning label. NSAID medications like Celebrex cause increased risk of bleeding, ulcers, and tears in the esophagus, stomach, and intestines at any time during treatment and can occur without warning and may cause death. In case you are wondering what the abbreviation NSAIDs means, it stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Rather than attempting to defeat inflammation, natural solutions focus on supporting the healing process, helping your body move through the inflammatory cleanup phase and into the cell growth and reorganization rebuilding phases. I am suggesting that rather than attempting to defeat inflammation, that natural solutions focus on supporting inflammation and the healing process. If you have any signs of inflammation, redness, heat, pain, swelling, a loss of function, I suggest you try Beeler's broth for two weeks to see how it helps. Beeler's broth can also be eaten exclusively for two or three days to cleanse and reboot your digestive system. I will talk more about detoxifying cleanses in another video. Dr. Henry Beeler was a prominent American physician best known for his book, Food is Your Best Medicine. He recommended this broth for fasting, energy, and overall health. He felt that this combination of zucchini, string beans, celery, and parsley was ideal for restoring acid alkaline and sodium potassium balance in the body. Beeler's broth is said to support the liver, adrenal glands, and pancreas. Beeler's broth is highly recommended for any type of inflammation and for anyone who is under stress. Because Beeler's broth supports the liver, it's a great detoxifier. And because it supports the pancreas, it may help with weight loss. Here is the recipe to make two quarts. The broth will keep in your refrigerator for about three days. You will need one pound of squash, zucchini, yellow, or summer squash, with the ends removed, one pound of string beans with the ends removed, two sticks of celery cut in one inch lengths, two bunches of parsley with the stems removed, and a quart of spring water. Optional ingredients include a tablespoon of whey per cup of soup, a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil for a cup of soup, sea salt, cayenne pepper, ginger, turmeric, or other herbs. Here are the five steps to prepare the broth. One, clean and cut up the vegetables. Two, place a steamer basket in a porcelain or stainless steel pot. Three, fill the bottom of the pot with water up to the bottom of the steamer basket. Four, place the ingredients in the steamer basket and steam till the vegetables become soft, about six to 10 minutes. Five, add optional ingredients. Vegetables may be consumed as a soup with the cooking water or blended into a thick soup with the blender. When blending, I suggest that you start by blending the vegetables and only add the cooking water if needed to achieve the desired consistency. The consistency should be about that of pea soup. Now for the bonus procedure I promised you, Epsom salts baths. 
Epsom salt is a combination of two minerals, magnesium and sulfate, which are critical for many body processes. The exact mechanism of how Epsom salts works is unclear. Some doctors and athletes believe that benefits are achieved by absorbing these important minerals through the skin, transdermally. And others believe that magnesium and sulfate draws the toxins out. Perhaps it's a combination of both actions. But whatever the mechanism, it does work. Epsom salts were first discovered in the 17th century in England, and for hundreds of years, Epsom salts baths have been used to ease aches and pains. And one study shows that warm water baths also increase your body's natural production of growth hormone. Epsom salts baths are simple and inexpensive. Add about two cups of Epsom salts to your bath water and soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Some people have a face cloth and a container of cool water nearby so they can cool their face or head as needed. In this video, I covered inflammation, why you have it, and what you can do about it. I explained that inflammation plays a vital role in human health, and that inflammation is the first step in the healing process followed by cell proliferation and cell reorganization. I gave you the recipe for Beeler's broth, a formula that has helped hundreds of thousands of people for over 70 years. And I explained about Epsom salts baths that have helped millions of people with inflammation for over 300 years. If you have inflammation, I suggest that you give this a try. What do you have to lose? And please, forward this video to anyone you know who is dealing with inflammation. These ideas can't hurt and just might be the thing that will make the difference in their lives. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. And hit the subscribe button and the notify bell icon below to receive more videos like this. Till next time, this is Dr. Barrett signing off. Yours for health naturally.